U.S. President Donald Trump's Middle East envoy has just met in Jerusalem on Thursday to discuss their long-delayed Middle East peace plan. Jason Greenblatt and advisor Jared Kushner met with the Israeli Prime Minister in an effort to drum up support for an economic conference discussing the plan that will take place in Bahrain next week. Israeli leader Netanyahu was happy to welcome the American officials despite the recent announcement that new Israeli elections would be held in September because of his inability to form a new government coalition. And uh, even though we had a little event last night, uh, that's not going to stop us. We're going to continue working together. Uh, we had a great productive meeting which reaffirms that the alliance between the United States and America has never been stronger and it's going to get even stronger. I want to thank Prime Minister Netanyahu for his gracious hospitality. I sent, uh, I came with greetings from President Trump for you and for all the people of Israel. This was my first time in Israel since the President recognized the Golan Heights, uh, which was a very important uh, announcement. Uh, the security of Israel is something that's critical uh, to the relationship between America and Israel and also very important to the President in his heart and we appreciate all of your efforts to strengthen the relationship between our two countries. The rollout of Trump's so-called deal of the century regarding the future of the Israeli-Palestinian peace was expected to roll out in late 2018 or early 2019. But it was postponed to give Netanyahu the time to hold elections in April. Now that there will be a second round of Israeli national elections, it's unclear if the deal will be postponed again. But one thing is for certain. The U.S. will be holding a conference in Bahrain that will be held this month to encourage investments in Palestinian territories by Arab countries. The only issue is that the Palestinian Authority has refused to deal with the Trump administration on a future peace plan after the American president recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And it's clear that so far the Americans have been kicking the ball down the road all the time about their plan in order to give Israel more time to create facts unilaterally and for them to create facts on the ground unilaterally, such as Jerusalem and refugees and so on, and prevent or circumvent any type of intervention from anybody else, uh, including the Europeans, to have a political initiative. So on the one hand, they are buying time for Israel. On the other hand, they are actually preventing any political uh, or serious political initiative to deal with the issues. And uh, they are using this to put more pressure on the Palestinians and to adopt more punitive measures, including uh, devastating uh, economic measures against Palestine. Meanwhile, the Lebanese terrorist organization Hezbollah is vowing to confront the U.S. Middle East peace plan. <laughs> يعني لا يحتاج الإنسان إلى الاستدلال بكل المعايير على أن هذه صفقة هي صفقة باطلة وصفقة عار تاريخي وصفقة جريمة تاريخية وبكل المعايير أيضا يجب أن تواجه the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, does not seem to be worried about the potential of the U.S. launching a war against Iran and is continuing to threaten Washington. Israel and the United States believe that Hezbollah is producing precision-guided missiles to attack Israel. أن الحرب على إيران لن تبقى عند حدود إيران أن الحرب على إيران يعني كل المنطقة ستشتعل